We will not survive the next 10 years without cyber security. Ignoring the cyber risk, the cyber crime, will kill the business. The reason for that is very clear. Without the confidence of our customers that our systems and products are secure, they will not trust in our products, and Siemens and their products will fail. Especially because this is not longer about data and information anymore. It's about our lives, whether this is in the working space or in the private space. While I am formulating this sentence, 2,500 records were stolen around the world by cyber criminal. That means 44 records per second, 2,500 per minute, and 1,600,000 ,000 per hour. And that is happening every single day. The numbers I am mentioning are increasing, and cybercrime is already the number one business risk for many companies and studies. Those uh, companies include uh, power grid uh, infrastructure and operation, health services, monitoring services for pollution, uh, smart metering, and others. And that's the reason I say cybercrime is already by far the biggest and greatest threat for the entire industries, for businesses, and for our own lives. Uh, so you can imagine a threat like this is affecting Siemens as well. And uh, just imagine for a second you have to go to the hospital for an urgency case, and your medical records have been slightly modified. I repeat myself, slightly modified. You can imagine what outcome could it be of you getting the wrong medicine. Uh, that, that would lead to fatal uh, conditions. Or imagine, uh, imagine a blackout in your city, city and, 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 and believe me, the fact that you are not going to have coffee fresh coffee in the morning, or the fact that you might be taking a very cold shower, that will be the few, the fewest of your problems. Now, these examples I am mentioning, they are not taken from the book or from the novel. They are really happening. Let me tell you, I, my, I myself was in 2003 and 2004 in the US, in the north part in Michigan, and I have to leave myself a blackout. The first one took two and a half uh, days. It was during summer. The second one took three and a half days, and it was during winter. That was a, a good way to lose weight. So I lost like three and a half kilos by having to sleep with a jacket overnight. But just imagine this is happening, and, and I repeat myself, this is not something taken out of books or out of novels. So this can, this can really happen. And now. I hope by now I have convinced you that cybersecurity is important and that the attacks uh, can happen anytime. Now, if, if I have convinced you, and I, I, I'm looking at some faces here saying yes, then let me tell you what does it mean for Siemens. So we have to deal with about 1,000 attacks per month. The, the numbers can uh, vary and depends on, on the season. And, uh, and, and the, the big challenge that we have is we have to fight all of the 1,000 attacks successfully while the attackers, they need only one successful hit. Um, so this is, this is our big challenge. And um, so that you understand uh, how the cosmos of Siemens look like, let me tell you that Siemens is a company with 380,000 employees. We have hundreds of factories, and we have countless customers around the world. So I repeat myself, one single successful uh, attack could be catastrophic for Siemens. So what we have done to prevent this and to protect Siemens is to uh, develop a holistic approach on, on how we look on, on cybersecurity. 
And uh, we have already many years of experience in cybersecurity. So we started back in 1986 with the Stuxnet uh, case that you may have seen in the TV and in the movies. And uh, we have 1,300 uh, uh, experts around the world just looking into cybersecurity and protecting system, uh, Siemens. Now, this is already a lot for sure. And I can imagine we are already forerunners compared to other companies. Nevertheless, believe me, this is not going to be enough because this situation is very complex. And, and this is true for today, but especially as well for the future. And therefore, we do a lot of emphasis and we make sure that our products are secured by design, making sure that during the development phase, we look into the cybersecurity and we make sure with quality gates that our products are being se developed, secure. We also uh, are developing more and more secured by the full product, so that means you don't have to configure them right so that you have them secure. And, uh, and uh, all of this is protecting Siemens already. Now, you can rest assured that we are doing everything together so that we can keep the lights on in the business, in our factories, and even here today while I am speaking with you. Uh, now, let me, let me tell you a little bit more about cybersecurity. And I have mentioned already how important it is to have secure products. Yes, it is. Let me tell you as well, it is very important to have a secured infrastructure, whether this is the IT and the offices or is the OT in the factories. And this all together, to have a perspective on all, all of this together, is what we call our holistic approach. So we look at end to end because it is very important to secure the infrastructure and to know uh, that the infrastructure where we are developing and operating our products later on, that that those uh, that, that infrastructure is secure. Now, in order to protect, you have to understand the whole ecosystem. You have to understand the whole environment so that you can understand as well not only the connections, but the interconnections and be able to secure as well. And this is where the no, domain know-how of Siemens, especially in the OT, uh, plays a very important role. So only understanding how the different components are interacting all together, we can defend properly not only our factories, but we can as well help our customers to protect and defend themselves. Uh, so. Uh, by, by the end of the day, let me, let me give you some advice of what's important to do about cybersecurity. The, the number one thing for you to do is take it seriously. The topic is important. Is, it deserves priority. By uns, uh, with us in Siemens, we take it very serious. Uh, the board, the management board, the supervisory board, they take it very serious. They hear the status every quarter, at least, on cybersecurity. Manage your risk. Accepting risk is legitimate, but if you ignore it, you will kill the business for sure. So uh, that goes for you cannot protect everything for sure. You cannot. Uh, address every single risk of your company, but if you don't manage that, if you are not transparent with the, with the kind of risk that you have, whether this is in the uh, IT or in the, uh, in the different factories or, or in the product, then you will not be able to manage that adequately. And, and that, that, at the end of the day, will kill any business. Collaborate means cooperation. Cooperation, you please avoid reinventing the wheel. The hackers are smart, very smart. And, and in addition to that, they are also very fast. So they don't have processes. They don't have to follow rules. They don't have unions. They can hire everyone. They have resources. They use the technology. So they are fast. So we don't have time. We don't have time, and therefore, is. Uh, it's very important that you don't reinvent the, reinvent the wheel, that we don't reinvent the wheel in this digital world. 
And therefore, we have put an effort together of uh, the so-called Charter of Trust that we do together with other 16 partners, including IBM and Cisco and other important companies of this world. And all together, we 16, we agree on what to do only once, which measures to take. To, take, to, to give you one example, I will, I will look into supply chain security. We all know that we depend on our suppliers. And if the suppliers are not, and, uh, not secure, we will not be able to produce secure products. So we have agreed in 17 measures and 17 requirements. And all our providers have now these 17 cyber security requirements. And they know they have to install it. We verify the installation of those uh, requirements once, and then we have it for every one of the 16. And we are talking about big cost com companies like IBM and Siemens. So this is a big step moving forward into using collaboration to be faster. Invest. Invest because cybercrime is not only a risk, it's an opportunity. Not every solution uh, uh, for, for cybersecurity are there. They are not being developed. We need more solutions, especially in Europe. We need to develop technology to protect our companies. So think about it. Last but not least, and very, very important, educate. Educate yourself. Be a digital responsible. Uh, educate your kids, educate the parents of your kids, the schools of your kids, Edu educate your company, educate your management, educate your top management if possible. This is, this is very important. We all need to have responsibility towards the use of the digital technologies, and we do want to use them. I want to use it. So I think now what I can do at the end is finish my presentation with the sentence that I started with. We will not survive the next 10 years without cybersecurity. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.